It's the DJI Spark. It is the hottest new drone out that there is. Pow! <laughs> This is a, um, okay, it isn't that new. I'm not going to bother with an unboxing, to be honest with you. I've had it since June, but I haven't had a chance to put this video together yet. And I was hoping to do some budget drones, but we saw what happened with the last one, which just flew away. <laughs> budget drones are bad. So this is the DJI Spark. Now this is quite an expensive drone. Um, in fact, you know, fully loaded with all the stuff that you need to make it do the best that it can. It is naturally much, much less expensive than a, than a Mavic, a Mavic Pro. However, it has gesture controls and full, you know, you can fly with your phone, you can fly with hands free and you can just wave at it and make it make it do stuff. So it's really geared to be small and set up for the selfie market and for the sole video bloggers and that sort of people, group, demographic. Is it any good though? Hmm. Hey, so I'm going to take off with this little fella. I don't want to do it from my hand yet, so I'm kind of, um, well I do, but it's a bit windy and I don't trust it, as you can see, wind everywhere. So let's find a nice flat bit of grass, stomp it down, and let's see what we can do. Okay, we have visual. It's so windy. This is a panoramic shot now. This is what's known as a rocket shot. That's kind of scary because it's kind of windy. <laughs> Let's see what a, um, an active track shot will do. Okay, so now the drone will track me wherever I do. So if I turn and I walk, the drone turns in the air and turns with me. Just like that. So it'll automatically pan, move into the wind, and I'm a little bit close. <laughs> so it keeps the subject in frame all the time. I can keep walking around it. And it knows where I am. That's some crazy juju right there. How do you know? That's clever. What else can you do? So it knows profiles. Really? So I can walk sideways and it still knows to track me. What witchcraft is this? So if I turn to face it, will it pan? No, it just tracks me. Okay. That's still very clever though. Let's see what else we've got here. And let's try tripod mode. So now the camera stays in a fixed position in the, and it stays airborne. No matter what I do, the camera stays put in place. That is such a useful feature. So I could be doing well, anything, video blogging or tracking, it'll just stay in the air like a magic flying camera. I haven't got, I'm not touching, I haven't got to do anything. That's fantastic. Let's see if I can bring it home, shall I? I 
That's insane! Come on, you can do this! It lands in my hand. Oh my god, that's the coolest thing ever. <sighs> I'm out of the battery. DJI Spark, cool as cool things. Absolutely love that. So I've no idea how much of this audio is going to sink. I'm going to have to um, be quite creative with the clapper boarding, I think. But you never know, it might all come out. I'll have to do a little opposite clapper board in a minute. Shut all this down. Night, night. I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the flight time there. I got about, I know it was heavy, heavy wind. The drone, even the remote control said, warning, you know, the wind is very high. And yet I was still able to get well over half an hour, 35, nearly 40 minutes on two batteries. So, um, and that's in heavy wind, trying a different program. So that's pretty good. Hey, so we're back with some fresh batteries and I've discovered where sport mode is. It's less windy. It's really warm. So um, yeah, let's um, let's record some some drone stuff. Okay, now we are paired. We are cooking on gas. Let's take off and fly. That's insane. I don't I feel like it's Mavic fast, but that is so fast. Okay, so yeah, sport mode is insane. That's just 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 crazy. Badass and insane. And it's flying over my head. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to control it in the, in the in the camera lens screen thing. That's all good. So I'm doing this completely hands-free now. I tell a lie, I can pan the camera around me as I walk, but it'll keep tracking me no matter what I do. Which is so freaking awesome. And really handy for when you're doing like video blogs to the camera. So I can just keep panning in circles. All I'm doing here is panning left and right. And the drone is just taking care of all the, well, me, really. So I can stop here, fly back. And the drone walks away with me. This would be really cool for one of those um, tracking panning shots. Apart from the fact that uh, well, you'll hear the drone buzzing away in the background. Gotta say, this is possibly one of the best tools for video bloggers that exist. I mean, it's a flying camera crew. Just sits around there and follows you. The battery's getting down to three now. I don't know how long it's gonna be able to do this stuff. It's gonna to return to home shortly all on its own but you know that's fine i think you've tested that feature quite thoroughly that works so well it does need quite a few batteries though i gotta say
Are you still active tracking me, you jack thing? Stop this. The home is there, so I don't know where you're going now. Well, there it is. All packed away in this little box. I mean, it's not much bigger than your hands, that thing. And it acts as a launch pad, as a landing pad, as a... This is awesome. I love this thing. Ha! So that was hair uh, all over the place. So that was so much fun. It was, it's such a fun drone to fly. It's very, very, very easy. It doesn't go anywhere until you, unless you tell it to, even in really strong winds, as you saw in that video. It stays put. It lands on your hand, which is so cool. You can control it with a phone. Okay. And you've got the remote controller and you can fly it with gestures. All of that stuff that we just saw working. Um, and that's really good. But, huh, honestly, you need this little controller. This is, this is, a, this is the remote here and you, you know, your, your phone pops in the bottom there. But you need this remote control to really get the most out of it. If you've ever played a, an action game or a racing game on your phone on a touch screen, you, that's, that's all the reason you know, that's all the explanation you need to understand why this drone or any drone needs a remote control. A phone simply isn't tactile enough. Now, with the phone, with the remote control, you get these built-in flight modes. Um, certainly the tracking mode was fantastic. The, um, the pre-shot modes were very, very useful. The, you know, the rotary shot, the radial, the, the rocket ship shot. These are really, really useful things. And I love it. And, you know, honestly, I've got a Mavic sitting right there. Um, and I don't use it that often. It's an amazing drone. It's faster and it's got a better battery life. And it's not that much more expensive. But I do love the Spark because it allows me to, to do things I simply couldn't do on a drone before. There is a big catch, though. By the time you add extra batteries, and you need two or three at least, you're basically looking at the Fly More Pack and an extra battery. And I'd say that's kind of a minimum. That'll give you 45 minutes of... of flight time, the remote which unlocks sport mode. You can't access sport mode unless you have the remote control. By the time you add all that up, you're only coming in at about £150 less than a Mavic. And the Mavic gives you 4K, it gives you a longer battery life, it's faster, it's a better drone in almost every way. Now, okay, the Mavic doesn't have some of the selfie stuff that the Spark does, and the Mavic is a bit bigger, and that's fine. But you really, it's not an obvious choice, honestly. If you're doing what I'm doing with it, and that's using it as a selfie drone, something which is very, very small, you can literally grab and go like that, okay? Then it's fine. This is almost a no-brainer because it's very, very, very easy to fly solo and do amazing things. But, but, if you want a drone, if you aren't video blogging with it, if you aren't talking to the drone yourself, if you're using it as a more traditional drone, flying around, doing obstacles and, you know, just that sort of stuff, the Mavic is probably a better option for you because it's only a little bit more expensive, but you do get a lot more value in that area. So that's pretty much it, really. The Spark, you know, it, it's, it's wonderful. It's so much fun to fly. It's so easy to fly, but so is a Mavic. Forget buying a Spark for gesture only mode. That's fine for the odd shot, landing on your hand, that's really good. But honestly, you unlock so much more by using the remote control. So if the Spark is for you, buy the Spark with the remote control. Don't buy it without. I found it very difficult to fly accurately without the remote control. So you sort of pays your money and you takes your choice. Mavic or Spark, either of them are probably the best drones on the market right now. Way better than the cheap drones. Not even they aren't even in the same league as them. But decide what you want to do with it before putting your money down. That's my advice. So I hope this was useful. I know it's a very quick overview of the DJI Spark, but you've, there's much more thorough technical reviews already on the internet. This is just my view as a video blogger, and you know, as a video blogging tool, it's superb. As a drone, as a drone, probably say go for the Mavic if that's what you're really looking for. Please. Comment below, what do you think? What's your favorite drone? What are your drone experiences? Have you ever had a flyaway? Please subscribe, please like, dislike, 
it's all fine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!